Tutorness! Tutors! Bye guys! Bye to the mediocre tutorness! See you later, alligators! Crocodiles, right? You have to. No, you have to say after a while, crocodile. <laughs> so listen, what I like to do. Everybody gets. Shh, shut it! No, 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 no. Shut it! I can see your ass. Blue. Yes, maybe. <laughs> so what I like to do, which nobody else does. Is I like to do like Very question and answer stuff if y'all want to know about the tour, if you want to know about personal stuff, if y'all want to know about whatever you want to know about. Um, we also are going to do individual photos. And I'm going to take a, uh, I'm gonna take a sharpie and I'm going to sign your pass. Okay. Oh, you're too kind. <laughs> and then I'm actually going to take you guys up. Underneath the stage and show you where we change clothes. <laughs> and then maybe if we have time, we might even go on the stage. Oh. 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 Maybe if we have time. <laughs> Does anybody have any questions? Yes. In a word, yes. You know, I'm, um, when we left um, when we left the European version of this tour, um, we finished in Oslo, Norway. And so everybody flew from Oslo through like Singapore to get to, to Melbourne here. And I had my family with me in Europe, so I took them home to Atlanta. I flew them home and then I stayed one day at the house and then we laid out at the pool and like, it was nice, but it was, I was only on the ground for like 20 hours. So then I jumped back on the plane. And so, but those little, you know, the little times that I try to take advantage of what I can, I mean, if that's what I get, then that's what I'll take, so. But yes, I am looking forward to getting home and just having a little on time relax. It's tough going all the time, so. Actually, unpack, like, I don't know what that's called. <laughs> you know what, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. I know that uh, it was like, it was super expensive to have, well, we didn't, one, we didn't have time to get from Oslo to ship all of our stuff. We couldn't freight it because it was too expensive. So, you know, doing a flat stage, I mean, last night was the first night. We did a little walk through to kind of get the sense of like, oh, <laughs> 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 you know, so, it's a little different, but you know, I'm, I'm not mad at it. You know, the stage is actually a little shorter than our normal stage, like out here, which is kind of cool because you're a little closer to the fans and stuff like that, especially up on the sides of the Like, you can just jump on the stage. <laughs> not to give you any <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to change my seat. That's where we were last night. Yeah, oh, we were right? this close to this. Could ah, watch. Were you guys on this side or here? Yeah, this side. This side. Okay. Yeah, I spend the, it's unfortunate. I spend a little more time over there, but I try to get over here as much as I can. So. You have not played until you're No, no, no. We'll, we'll be back. Yeah, definitely. We'll be back. There's... Huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's, you know, as, as small as the world is, it's a pretty big place. <laughs> so when it comes to touring and stuff like that, um, it's tough to get around the world because you spend a certain block of time in a certain region of the world where you can. Um, with that said, it's it's consistently every two, sometimes three years that you know we'll get back here. But yeah, definitely, <laughs> definitely coming back. So I mean, hopefully, it'd be nice to come back in. I mean, literally next year. You know, it'd be nice to do that so if if at all possible. So if not, then maybe the beginning. I used to look at 2000 and go, I'm going to be 25 years old. Holy cow, it's going to be flying cars! <laughs> That's long gone for now. It's like a dozen years past. Last, yes. Um, this 
trip, I've seen a lot of the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> because I've been. Which hotel like, is that? <laughs> <laughs> what hotels? Oh, it's the <laughs> It's a new room. It's the one on the. <laughs> um, you know the. Uh, well, like that's that's what I was saying earlier uh, to this young lady. Is like I went home to Atlanta and everybody else had like a day and a half here before we started the show. So a lot of those other guys got a chance to see around, but for me, I haven't. I've seen a lot of my pillow, and <laughs> my bathroom, and my bed. <laughs> and a little bit of CNN, and that's about it. Little your... visuals for you. Um, why did why don't you come to the after party? And AJ. Why don't I? Yeah. Um, well. Can you come to I'm a. I'm a. How can I explain this? I'm a, uh, I'm a personal guy. You know, like, my work is my work, and my, you know, my time is, like, is my time. So, doing a show, giving two hours of 150%, and then going to a smoky club where everybody's drinking and everybody's looking at you like this. <laughs> you know, it's, it's just not for me. It's, it's not who I am, you know. Um, I, I, you know, I don't knock people that do. You know, some people can go out and have a great time, you know, but for me, it's just not a choice of a place that I'd like to go. Like, if I was going to a nice dinner, I'd like to go to a nice dinner and have a nice steak and a glass of wine or something like that. And, Ching, ching, ching. <laughs> you know, I, I live, you know, my life is music. It's oh, it's what we do. So when I have my time, I don't want to go and shake it off, shake it off, you know. So, but to each his own. You know, everybody, you know, I'm not as young as I used to be. I'm not a straight chicken, but, you know, it's just my choice. I just don't do it. Obviously, for reasons. Um, that everybody would know, you know, uh, AJ's, I think he's approaching like a hundred and <laughs> ten days sober now, which wow. is good. So, uh, I think he was, he was a hundred, yeah, like a hundred and a few last week. So, uh, you know, it's not a good environment for him to be in, obviously. So, that's a simple answer. Yes? Um, I now live in Singapore. Oh, okay. When you're coming to Singapore. So far, I've had to come to London and here to see London. Uh, you know, we were. Uh, are we not playing in Singapore? No. Not this one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Manila. No, Manila. Manila. Yeah, we were looking at playing in Singapore. I don't know, I guess it, it fell through. Um, I love Singapore. The last time we were in Singapore was the uh, was the F1 Formula One race. Oh, yeah, I guess yeah. that. So one of the first the first races they had there it was, it was super nice but um <laughs> I mean that's the it's the unfortunate thing you know we talk about how big the world is but how small it is at the same time there's so many places that we have never played before and people ask us all the time they'll tweet me and they'll say why don't you come here why don't you come here I mean it took us nine years to play Russia it took us nine years to Let's see, to play like... Ten, 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 ten Australia. Ten for Australia. There you go. Answer my, thanks for answering. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for the help. <laughs> but it's, um, I mean, it's, it's one of those things, you know. It's like, um, I wish it was that easy to just, like, pop on a plane and travel around and, and tour, you know. But it's, it's just a, there's a lot that goes into, you know, the availabilities of the venues. The seasons are different, you know, you guys are in, going into winter time, we're going into summertime. Do you play inside? Do you play outside? You know, what other sporting events does this place hold? What's the schedule? What's going, you know what I mean? It's like, there's a lot of, a lot of things. I used to get mad. I used to get pissed at the promoters because they would give me that excuse and say, oh, it's uh, availability. And I'm like, that's jacked up. You know what I mean? But when you think about it, when you go into these meetings and they go, well, uh, you've got hockey season going on, you've got the NBA playing, you've got uh, the Glee Tour and the, <laughs> and, uh, the <laughs> Jimmy Show Wonders Tour and the motorbike cross that's going on. So, I mean, it's like there's a bunch of things traveling. So, 
I mean, we're fortunate to be able to put on a show and people want to come see us play. Because there's so many tours that gear up to go out and then they end up canceling. So, so we're blessed to be able to go play, period. If you call it playing. That's what I call it. <laughs> <laughs> He likes Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> he does. He um, he opened up for us in Oslo. Yeah, he got a chance to do a song there, um, and he did "I Want You Back" by the Jackson Five. And so um, he, I mean, he loves he loves Michael. He loves Michael, but <clears throat> he's he's into like he writes his own songs now. You know, he'll. He'll write down thoughts and, and sing melodies. And, um, but he's he, when I get home, actually, instead of just relaxing, <laughs> when I get home, we're actually going to start making his record uh, in the studio. So we have some rights to, we've, we've already purchased the rights to some songs that are actually remakes that he's going to do. So uh, but then he has his own originals as well. So look out, Justin Bieber. <laughs> yeah. When the Nelson Kevin was coming back, how long did you know before Buddy Nelson? It's uh, it's been a while. Yeah. Yeah. It's been a while. Yeah, we um, we've talked about it for we've talked about it for quite some time, and we even addressed it with this tour. Not just this particular run of the tour, but when the New Kids tour started, um, there was talk if he was going to do that or if he was going to wait. So inevitably, I think the you know the right decision was to to wait for that because you know there has to be a next step for for what we do, and I think for us to maximize the ability that, that we have as five to move forward it wouldn't be with another group it would just be on our own so here we are so but we knew we knew for a while it was just you, know, you can't just go oh guess what <laughs> you know people were like huh <laughs> so but it's the right time you know it's the right time yes you next I got you next <laughs> no go ahead you were recording <laughs> to, oh, okay. <laughs> Getting hot with my answer. <laughs> Two years ago, you said you were going to start working on the Pixel album. Uh huh. Six years ago, I said that. <laughs> wow. Um, no, I'm just kidding. Um, I, you know, this is. I get asked all the time, like, when are you gonna? You know, when's the next solo CD coming out? And you know, my answer is this. I, I constantly work on it. I'm always thinking about it, but is it the most important thing in my life right now? No. Um, will it eventually come around and it'll be the right time? Yes, but that's something that I can't really push. Um, when Backstreet Boys recorded their very first album, the red and black European one that you guys got as well, um, producers pulled me aside and said, are you ready to record your first solo record? I mean, that's been going on forever. So, for me, it was, it's more about the team. It's always about the team. Um, we can, you know, we can uh, move mountains as five together. You know, solo-wise, it's it's tough. You know, you get a chance to be an artist and do your own thing, but you know, you miss the camaraderie of dancing and da 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 da. da. You know, I mean, I know I. I know I touch a different audience sometimes with my music, which is a blessing at the same time. But when it's the you know, when it's the right time, it'll just happen. I mean it'll it'll just happen. So but I'd like for it to be in the next year, year and a half. I'd like for it to be in the next ten years. <laughs> yes. Um, what's your favorite thing about Australia? What's my favorite thing about Australia? Speak English. <laughs> 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 which my son would say you speak American. <laughs> it gets a little messed up. Do they speak American here, Daddy? <laughs> it's English, Bob. It's English. Um, if I were to live anywhere outside of America, it would either be Toronto, Canada, or here in Australia. Um, I 
love the Gold Coast in Brisbane. It's just, you know, one of my first trips going there, I just fell in love with that place. Um, Sydney's cool, it's just a little too fast. <laughs> you go into the after. <laughs> For me, I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm slow paced. Um, so I like, you know, I, I love the water. I love the, the fishing community, the boating community, and all that stuff. It's just super cool. So that's what I love. I mean, Australia is massive. You know, I wish everybody had a chance to come here and see or travel the world like we do. You know, seeing cultures and the way people live. And, I want to. I want to know why you say how you going. Like, what is that? Like, <laughs> so I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It means how you doing. It means how I know what it means, but I'm just saying, like, how, like, how do you coin the phrase? Like, We're really slang. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Learn something new yeah. every day. Cause I, I'm intrigued by different sayings and why people say certain things you know? like, it's like, like in, in the south we're like hey y'all hey you guys our whole country is like the south no no it's cool but I mean I love I love every part of it you have 7-elevens <laughs> she's like really <laughs> it's beautiful it's beautiful anybody else how many characters do you read <laughs> this is um, that's four carats, so a little over four carats of canary diamonds, yellow diamonds. Thank you. I think there's 32 total, but they add up to 4.4, I think. I <laughs> I am a diamond connoisseur. I love I love jewelry. I don't wear a lot of jewelry, but I love diamonds. Even when I was a little boy. Just I uh, studied about them. I knew about them. You know, I didn't know anything about colored diamonds until, uh, I mean, many years ago. This was probably 15 years ago when I first met my wife. Um, there was like, <clears throat> she saw a magazine and it was a, um, it was a princess cut, which is a square, a princess cut uh, white stone in the middle with two trillions. Trillions are triangles. And the trillions were canary diamonds, they were yellow diamonds. And I didn't know they were called canary diamonds. So I did some research. She was like, wow, if I ever got an engagement ring, that's where, you know how you're like, hey, guess what? Guess what? So, uh, so I said, well, maybe, you know, maybe if I could, if I got the right hookup, I could flip the script and we could do the trillions <coughs> and white on the sides and then the canary in the middle. Because I had never seen the canary in the middle. And so I did. And then. You know, then I started studying about canary diamonds. Diamonds in general, they're on the alphabet scale. They start in color D and then they work their way down. Does anybody know that? Anybody know that? So, okay. so you start with you start with D, E, F, G, H, I, J. What happens is the dirtier the diamond, the more yellow it becomes. But you don't want that. You want all the way past Z. Once you get all the way down to Z, it starts again. And that's where the canary starts. And I never knew that. So you have Vivid Canary, which is the most yellow that you can get. It's like a super dark yellow. And then you have a fancy intense yellow, and then you have a fancy yellow. So there's three different grays. Any kind of color diamond from pink to blue to black to, to green, whatever it is, it's, it's fancy, it's vivid, it's fancy intense. So a little education on that. <laughs> Do okay? Very good. Yeah. Better than me. I'm smarter than the average bear. <laughs> I can't write songs too. I love diamonds. No, I'm just <laughs> but um, yeah, it's it's just like you know these they're wonders of the world. You know what I mean? They're like they're amazing things that they they're mined out of. Did Leanne get the one with the one in the middle? Yes, she did. Good way. Yeah. 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 I don't know if anybody read the news, but she her her big ring was stolen oh, yeah. at the hotel, and uh, yeah, that's another story. <laughs> That's another long story. Any other questions? <laughs> Y'all didn't ask me. I'm not going to tell you that. <laughs> You've been singing for a long time. Is there anything, any one song that you just can't go with, like you're over it? <laughs> I, uh, I used to hate the playing games. <laughs> just because it was like, it was just, uh. <laughs> you know, but like when we do it in the show now, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have given that away, but we do do it in the show tonight. 
and it's like it's just fun. You know, we put a little Michael Jackson swing on to the bridge, and the, so so it makes it fun. And to see the reaction when you hear the the keyboard come in, down, 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 everybody's like, <gasps> you know, it's like that's my jam. So, but I mean, there's many songs that that you kind of get sick of doing over and over and over. Um, I love. I wish we would do like Siberia. Siberia is mm. my favorite song. But yeah, used to be quit playing games, but I don't really have a song now that I, that I hate. You know? Unless it's, if you want to do good, girl. <laughs> that was ridiculous. <laughs> if we were Shania Twain, it would have been different. But we're, not, we're the back. <laughs> <laughs> Would you do something on your hand? See, I've, written, I've written a lot of songs. When we, we had, had drowning for our wedding. Every time I breathe, I take yeah. a snorkel. It was funny. <laughs> <laughs> last night, it was, the love just started. Yeah, was yeah. But yeah, that was our wedding dance. Awesome. And it was special when See, we played. See, we hear it. those stories all the time. Yeah. Like, people rarely ask me those questions. So Sorry. That's why I'm stuck. <laughs> but um, I mean, there was a uh, there's a song that I wrote for her called "You Are." Yeah. Uh, and so that, but we can't. We didn't dance to it because I was singing it. <laughs> so it was like, you up. <laughs> you know, um, wow, she's going to kill me because it's on TV. <laughs> <laughs> that one right there, she got it. She's, yeah, she's got it. I, I can't, honestly, I can't remember. <laughs> Brian, I'm a, I'm a Christian, as I know you are as well. Yeah. What's your favorite gospel song? What's my favorite, favorite gospel song? song? Just listening to uh, to this song the other day, there was a, uh, a song that Sandy Patty did. Oh, yes. and, um, it's called Another Time, Another Place. Yes, another one. Beautiful. And she did it with, um, I can't remember the guy's name. It's not Lauren L. Harris, it was somebody else. And I actually, that was my first song that I sang at a talent show when I was 17 in high school. And I sang it with a girlfriend of mine that was in chorus class. And she was a friend, girlfriend, friend, friend. friend. When Sandy sings the first half and then the guy comes in the second half, and when I came in, the crowd went nuts. And I was like, it was a shock to me because that had never happened to me before in my life. And when I would get down and kind of like, because I'm Mr. Like, make everybody laugh, you know? But then you have sad times. And I was like, like I didn't make the basketball team, I got cut, you know, and I was, I was mad. So I went back to the house. I was like, man, so I put this uh, this cassette tape on that had me and Dawn singing. And I thought, one day, one day, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something with my life. And then, you know, here we are, <laughs> which was a blessing. But um, Another Time in Another Place is one of my favorites. Um, there's another song that Michael English did called Heaven, which I'm probably going to remake on my new record. Um, I love that song. Mm -hmm. It's uh, It just moves me, you know. And it's like that's the thing with gospel music and with Christian music. There's so many, there's so many people out there that don't want to be preached to. You know, like I can't do songs that say you're gonna die and burn in hell. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? People don't want to hear that. So there's, you have to, you have to be careful with your song choice and how you write, especially with me, how you write songs, because people came at me going. You're a backstreet boy doing, you know, sexual. <laughs> you can't be a Christian artist. That's just against the rules. And, and I was like, forget you. You know, if you think I can't, then you don't know me. So I used one of your songs in a sermon that I did. Um, I was based on the cross. Huh. And I can't think of the name of the song. Um, um, the one you talk about, Jesus dying on the cross. Uh, oh, wish. wish. Yes, that's it. Yeah, I used that, and I had a congregation of 120 people in tears. 
Wow. And he's in that song. So it's, cool. it's a very, very powerful song. That's cool. Songs are stories, you know yeah. what I mean? That's the, that's the best thing about it. A good song is a good story. Okay, let's uh, 